Hello YouTubers, this is Tarif Khan from LogoDesign.net. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a retro logo design. Now what's the difference between a retro logo design and a conventional one? Well, the retro logo design is based upon or styled upon a bygone era. For example, the 60s, the 70s or the 80s. So in today's video, I've uh, come up with a company name, it's called Rocket Man Matches. I've sketched the Rocket Man and a crest. I'm going to trace out the elements, these two elements, and then I'm going to combine them, thus forming a logo. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends. If you want updates, please press the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, on my screen you'll see a, a sketch uh, of a man with a, a with a rocket or a jetpack uh, the logo that I'm trying to do is the title is rocket man and matches rocket man matches all right if you see on my screen there's this sketch of the rocket man and I have a general layout of how the logo would look like and I've set up uh, my layers the first where the drawing layer is whether you see this I've created a layer which says uh, it's labeled drawing and then I'll have another layer upon that uh, it's gonna be my trace layer so I'm gonna zoom in all I'm gonna do is trace out all these black areas uh, the lines the sketches that I've done and uh, make a, an outline or uh, of this uh, uh, the graphic once I'm done then I'll start with the fills if uh, I, I, I need to or I want to do the fills all right uh, let's uh, get started I'm gonna use the pen tool and uh, I'm gonna flip flip the fill to the uh, an, an outline then I'm gonna select a very bright color Let's uh, get a, a magenta color for my strokes. This way I should be able to uh, see where my lines are. Like so. Again, just like my previous uh, video, uh, this is not an actual logo for anybody. It's a... Uh, it's a mock-up, nothing real. We'll be fast-forwarding this section till uh, when I'm done with all, everything. All right. I'm going to create two brushes, uh, two art brushes, get my lips tool, flip and put a black colored fill, go to brushes, new brush and which one, an art brush, okay, and the color fill method, we are going to, I'm going to select tint. I'd like to, I always uh, decrease the overall size of the brush to about 20% instead of 100%. This way it's easier to control the brush strokes. Okay, this is the new brush. I had created uh, two brushes earlier. Uh, so for this part of the helmet, I'm gonna use look at this brush I don't want this thing I want this portion to be thick and the end would be uh, a pointed or narrow one so I'm gonna select the other brush okay let's flip it fly strokes okay you see now I can increase the point size to about 1.5 I'm going to tweak this section later on. Uh, let's see. 
convert the brush into fills an object break this thing okay then I'm gonna flip the fill like so part which came out Okay, I'm done with uh, tracing out the, the rocket man drawing and uh, if you see I've added a few elements uh, this part and the back side of this person uh, the rocket man I've also created a new layer and pasted this trace uh, object on uh, the logo layer and uh, I didn't merge the the graphic it's just a group so I can edit it moving forward if I need to do something with uh, like removing the leg or the hand or the arm and so on okay now going back to my drawing layer I've already sketched a, a logo uh, it's based around a hexagon and there's a ribbon I'm gonna be placing the rocket man sketch uh, diagonally and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start now. I will select a hexagon and uh, go to effects. I'm gonna round the corners of this hexagon. Corners, but no, that's too much. About 14 points. Rotate this 90 degree. I'm going to create a polygon, polygon uh, hmm, or triangle brush, three points, okay, rotate it 90 degrees, flip it, squeeze it, go to my brushes, create a new brush, art brush. Let's 
scale it down to 20 so I can uh, control it. Tints. Okay. I'm gonna group the hexagon, the ribbon, and uh, the lines. Center line. To create the inner line, I'm gonna do an offset path so it shrinks on inwards. Okay, path. So path minus 10. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna increase that to 12. And that's about it. Okay. I'm gonna create a path. Mm, let's see, it should be this angle. Okay, I'm going to copy this section, uh, one of the strokes of the hexagon. Paste in front, you'll see the stroke come up here. Let's color it to some other thing. Uh, maybe an aquamarine color. Align it with the side stroke. Then that took Okay, I'm gonna increase the stroke around this. Uh, I've created two layers. One is the Rocket Man himself, and there's a, a another layer be behind this green one. It has a a red outline. I'm gonna. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna lock the orange. Oh, sorry, the green layer. That's Control Two. Then I'm gonna select the red layer the stroke I'm gonna increase the size by let's see to about five points round the edges so I don't get uh, these pointed objects Okay, this is how the final logo looks like. The last step is to add the logo name, which is Rocket Man, and uh, for that I've already selected a few fonts. Uh, there are two of them, one for the word matches, the other one is for Rocket Man. I'm going to place the, the word on top of this ribbon. Give it a color, white. I'm 
I'm thinking of adding a shadow with uh, these uh, triangular uh, strokes. Blend them. Need to put all of these spike lines, the shadow, in a in a container. Okay, it's centralized. There you have it, uh, the final logo. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or press the subscribe button. We have written a detailed article on retro logo design. The URL is in the description. For all your DIY logo design needs, head on to logodesign.net and make your own logo. That's it from me, Tarukhan. Bye bye.